everyone! So the fun thing about presents, at least to me, is knowing that someone took time out of their perhaps really busy schedule to think of what you might like or need. But come Christmas, it sometimes gets really difficult to pick out the right gift for a relative or an acquaintance that you don't really know or hardly ever get to see. So here are some of my Christmas or more general uh, gift ideas and tips. I hope you like them. First of all, girls aren't that difficult to shop for. We're pretty easy. We like purses, handbags, jewelry, scarves and hats and they don't have to be expensive. Like take this purse for example. It cost me five euros and I got it at H&M and I really love it. So it's not that difficult to shop for a girl. Guys aren't so complicated either. A lot of them like gadgets, so accessories for their phones are always good, external battery chargers, or maybe semi-useless things like this Swiss Army pocket knife that MacGyver used to have, except now it also has a USB stick. It's pretty cool. Also, I think concert tickets are always a good gift, and I know it's not very original, but most guys really hate shopping, so I think they'll always be happy if you give them t-shirts or jeans or sweaters, jackets, that kind of stuff. Gift certificates can work really well if you don't have a lot of inspiration or if you know it's something that your friend will really like. You can get certificates for the movies, restaurants, car wash, cooking lessons, helicopter rides and spas, pretty much everything out there. Or if you don't have a lot of money you can make your own gift certificate promising a nice homemade meal or a personal massage, but I, I wouldn't recommend the massage to someone that you don't really know very well. That could be awkward. There's other money-saving options that you could explore. If you want to give a very personalized gift, but you don't want to spend too much money on it, you could make a photo book of you and that person, adding sweet and funny comments to the pictures, or you could get a cardboard box and fill it with tiny things that you know they'd love, or add objects that have a special meaning to the both of you. In high school, for example, my best friend Julie and I would give each other very personalized gifts each year, and one time I made her a cardboard box and pasted pictures of Kurt Cobain inside, because we were both big Nirvana fans, and then I put tiny little objects in it that sort of meant a lot to the both of us. Um, so that's pretty cool, you can just make a, a box filled with inside jokes between the two of you, that could be fun. And of course there's the classics, if you don't want to do any of these you can just get a book, a DVD, a CD or uh, clothes, that's always easy. And it doesn't have to be very expensive either. But of course, if you really, really, really love someone, you just, you just get them the newest iPhone. Am I right? I'm kidding, of course. I'm I'm kidding. iPhones are really expensive. So the 4G would still be fine with me. I mean, it doesn't have to be the newest one. That's insane, right? I'd, that's too being too picky. Of course, before you start spending your money on buying presents, maybe you could save maybe one or two dollars for Project for Awesome, which is coming up really soon. Project for Awesome, for those of you who don't know what it is, is a project launched by the Vlogbrothers in order to reduce world suck. And if you don't know what world suck is, if you're not a Vlogbrothers fan and you, you haven't heard of the term, it's pretty much what it sounds like. It's everything in the world that sucks. So, you know, famine, poverty, death, pretty much all the depressing stuff that you hear about come Christmas. So, once a year, and this year it will be December 17th until December 19th, um, all the YouTubers get together, they make videos about their favorite charity or a charity that they feel should be more well known, and they try to raise some money for it or raise awareness. So uh, it's a really cool idea, so if you have a charity in mind that y you really support or a charity that you feel should be more well known, um, this is your chance to promote it and to make a video about it and to maybe try and raise money for it. Don't miss it, it's the one day a year that I feel the whole YouTube community really gets together and tries to get something done. And I think that every year we succeed in reducing just a tiny little bit of world suck. So hopefully this year you'll be a part of it. I hope you're well. Leave a comment and tell me if you're going to be participating and if you have any other gift tips and ideas. Hope you're well, take care, and I'll see you soon. Peace out.